Rossmann, who's known for taking an AC pump and making it controllable, is now spread out into the return pump market. But I'm curious, why even spend the time on an AC pump when we have all these DC pumps on the market that are controllable? Well, there are a couple facts that are, that are very important in my personal opinion, which is the first one is that we don't have a power supply. And not having a power supply means that we don't have something which can fail in time. Okay, but the, the most effective reason of having an AC pump rather than a DC pump is that an AC pump can't lose power while going. For example, when a DC pump is going and the rotor gets dirty, it starts friction. Okay. So it's, it results in a slowdown in speed, in flow rate. So people normally buy uh, larger return pumps or larger stream pumps simply because they know that after a while the pump will lose power. Your pump does AC pump it does can't work. because because it's a synchronous motor and it's designed to work at 60 hertz. It can't work at 59 hertz. And you can you can also ask me about why you should control an AC pump rather than having a ball valve to reduce the flow. And my answer is that with an AC pump, if you just reduce the power by adjusting the, 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 the ball valve, you will have the pump at maximum power, so the power consumption will be higher. Rather than having control, controlling the pump by the waiver, so you will reduce the speed of rotation and you will adjust actually the flow rate without the need of a ball valve. So the pump's using less power, we're getting less flow. Exactly. Okay, that, so it's that, saving you money. Exactly, it's saving, it's saving you money at the end of the day. And I think it's important by that fact, but also controlling a pump will uh, allow you to calibrate with our system. We allow you to calibrate the minimum level of the pump so you can program your feeding time. Your pump won't never switch off. It will just go to its minimum power and you won't waste any food into the sump. You won't have your sump being dirty in two weeks, you know? Yeah. yeah and you won't have any air bubble again in, getting into the main tank from the sump. So we, now we have an AC pump that's controllable. We yeah. can turn it down, less power, yeah. less potential items for fail by not having the power brick. Yeah. And we have a good flow rate because you said this was above how many gallons an hour? Oh, this is the new one and it's the largest of the range extension of the Riser RX. And this is 2300 gallons per hour. 2300 gallons an hour. How many watts? And it's approximately 110 watts. Okay. And it, it has over 15 feet of, of head pressure. Okay. At maximum. And then we have two more models below it. Yeah. So now we have an AC controllable in-tank pump, an AC controllable return pump, and now an AC controllable skimmer. Exactly. All exactly. done through the waiver? Exactly. Exactly. And we can do this off an app without the need for power brakes. That's right. That's right. That's right. The application is downloadable from uh, Google Play Store or uh, Apple Store, actually. And it's called Rossmund InTouch. And it's made in Italy, not made in China. No, absolutely. I, we, we do produce everything in Italy. And you know that the, the stream pumps, the mover pumps, has three years of warranty. That's great that you created a reliable product and you're standing behind it as well. I like to see that. Yeah. Good job.